All right, uh, good evening. This is uh, uh, the update on the case we are handling regarding the 15 years girl that was sexually abused by her uncle, according to the girl and the auntie. Uh, you all heard initially what we called the provost, and according to the woman, uh, she ran to this place at the mind justice on behalf of the innocent young girl, which happened to be her niece. And secondly, she's afraid on the ground that she was told by the provost there that they cannot detain the, the, the man because the man is a civilian. And from the statement of the provost while I called her, she repeated the same thing, that because the man is a civilian, they cannot detain him. I put call across to the DPO, Afonka police station, to provide us personnel so that we can they can pick the young man, transfer the case to them for proper investigation. While our delegates went with the victim's answer to efforts based to take the man, because you heard when the provost said the woman should go and carry her, the brother as if she is going there to take food, not to man being. Who we are talking about is an adult. And there is no way the woman will be able to pick the brother from the custody of the Air Force base or Air Force barrack. And if they say it is not within their jurisdiction to keep the man because the man is not their personnel, but civilian, the only people that have the right for such investigation or case that have to do with civilian is nobody else but the Nigerian police which will have taken the necessary step and we were told by the DPO, by the person that put call across to him, that because of tomorrow election, they have also dispatched men to other appropriate place for successful election tomorrow, and they have only two people at their counter. Thereby, we should bring the suspects and the victim to their station. Waiting based on the um, statement of the provost that this woman should come and pick the brother and will send our delegate to that place to the woman to, for them to release the man. They will bring the man to our office. Then we take our vehicle with our staff to hand over the man to the police. They return back again that the Air Force officers told them that they are still investigating the case. Now they want to investigate. And if they are done with their investigation, they will hand over the man if it's found wanting. And you know the right thing to do. We will see incident the case officially, and we will take a, a police also report. We'll take this child to Merabe for proper tests. While they are conducting their tests, the, uh, the efforts we will still go and run tests at Merabe Center that government approves. Thereafter, we will come back for proper information. Thank you very much. God bless you. But all we know, if it is confirmed truth, as this girl stands on her ground, the test come out positive. Come what may, we will ensure justice prevails. Enough is enough. We cannot fold our hands. Mother, parents, watching uncles, fathers, all kind of human beings molesting our child, our children under our nose. After suffering nine months carrying the child, bring them forth, and instead of them to be intact until they are given out in marriage, and somebody somewhere will be molesting these children. If you are supporting this kind of evil, then I don't know how you, the planet you are existing. Nobody, be you police, Air Force, human rights, individual, where you, where you belong to. This kind of issue, even if it is your son that is involved in this kind of a thing, you must ensure that son is punished by law. You don't need to hide this kind of thing except you on your own, you are evil. If it's your daughter that is being molested, 
I applaud this auntie that never care what to be the repercussion they have for the penalty against this kind of issue. And she stands, she stood her ground to ensure justice prevails for this case. Despite the person, the perpetrator, according to the girl, is uh, her own biological brother who happened to be her younger brother. So please stay tuned. This cannot, nobody, nobody, I said nobody, no officers, no office will sweep this case under carpet. We'll be back after election on Monday to take out for tests. God bless you.